Hello students, in the last recording we have seen the definition of scalar point function, vector point function, grad phi as well as unit normal vector as well as how to find the angle between the two surfaces and what is the formula for directional derivative, right? Now we will see the problems under that. The first question, find the angle between the normal to the line to the surface x y equal to z square at the point 1 comma 2 comma 1 and at the point 3 comma 2 comma 3 you need to find the angle between the normals so what is the formula to find the angle between the normals cos theta is equal to n1 dot n2 n1 is a vector normal to the surface first surface n2 is a vector normal to the second so divided by that magnitude for that first we require Phi, which is a scalar point function they have given. See, they have given like this x y equal to z square. So remember, whenever they have given like this, you need to bring all the variables to one side. Okay. So what is our surface given? Phi of x y z is equal to bring this z square this side x y minus z square. So this is our surface given x y minus z square. Then how to find grad phi? Grad phi is, what is the formula for grad phi? You know, dou phi by dou x i cap, dou phi by dou y z cap, j cap, dou phi by dou z k cap. Now phi is given here. So phi put it here, phi put it here, okay. Then differentiate partially with respect to dou, right? So you need to differentiate partially with respect to x, treating y and z constant. So when you differentiate with respect to x, what you get? Uh, y is a constant, take out, what is the dou x by dou x1, what is the derivative of constant 0, so you will get y. What about dou phi by dou y, when you differentiate this with respect to y, you will get x here, here 0, and what about dou phi by dou z here, you will get minus 2z, k cap. So we got grad phi, del phi. Now, we need two normals, right, vector n1 and x, vector n2, uh, with the values of grad phi, at which point, there are two points given in the question. Instead of two surfaces, only one surface they have given and two points they have given. So we, we can get the two normals now. Put the point in the uh, grad phi, you will get n1 vector n1. So you put it here x value 1, y value 2, z value 1 here. You will get this vector. Similarly, put x value 3 here, y value 2 here, z value 3 here. You will get the second uh, normal vector. Now find the magnitude. How to find the magnitude of any vector? Square root of x square, y square. y is 1, z is minus 2, right? So you will get 3 and here also find the magnitude. 2 square, 3 square, minus 6 or 7. Right? Now what is the formula for finding the angle between the surfaces? This cos theta. n1 you know, n2 you know. So I have written like this form. Always whenever the dot product given. I'll write in this form. It becomes easy to find the dot product. How I have written? See. 2, 1, minus 2. Correct? Only the coefficient I have written. Dot here. 2, 3, minus 6. Divided by what is the magnitude of here? 3 and 7. Write it here. Then how to find the dot product? You know. X coordinate into X coordinate plus Y coordinate into Y coordinate Z coordinate into Z coordinate. That gives you like this. So what is the answer? You will get 19 by 21. So cos theta equal 19 by 21. Since they have asked the angle, cos you bring this side, cos inverse 19 by 21. So which is the required angle between the two surfaces. Next one, very important problem. This is has been appeared in the model question paper also. Find constant A and B so that the surface will be orthogonal to the surface at this point. So consider phi 1. There are two surfaces given. First, we will see the first surface. Phi 1 is what? Ax square minus B. As I told you, whenever the surface is given in this form, you bring to one side. Okay. So, minus A plus 2x. So, this is the first surface. Second surface, it is proper. 4x square by plus Z cube. Constant, let it be. We are not bothering about the constant. Okay. But whenever the variables are there, you need to bring here. Because constantly if you bring this side also, when you take the grad 5, it becomes 0. Right now. So consider the two surfaces. So now we will find grad 5. And how to find grad 5? And you know, do 5 1 by do x, do 5 2 by do by do. So 5 is here, this one, right? Write it here. I have not written here. Same thing you need to write it here. Here. Okay, then differentiate with respect to x. See, when you differentiate, you get 2ax minus. 
when you differentiate with respect to s you need to treat y and z constant so this is zero then a plus 2 and no x by no x1 then i cap plus similarly do it for with respect to y when you do a differentiate with the, this is constant zero then here minus bz this is also constant zero so you will get minus bz and what about here when you differentiate with respect to z this is constant zero this is minus b by this is constant zero so you will get minus b by k cap so this is our grad phi one now we need a normal vector right at which point for the first surface at which point for both the surface, the point is same, correct? Na? So we will find vector n1 at the point 1 minus 1, 2. So just put a, wherever there is x1, wherever there is y minus 1, wherever there is z2. So that gives you a minus 2 i cap minus 2 b j cap plus b into k cap. Similarly, we will move on to the second surface. Same way we will calculate phi 2 is this surface. Same way we will calculate grad phi 2 dou phi by dou x, dou phi by dou y, dou phi by dou z. Only the surface is different now. Surface is different. Differentiate partially with respect to x. You know how to do partial differentiation, right? So 8xy, 4 by cos. What is the dot x square 2x? This is constant, 0. Then here 4x square. Here this is 0. And here when you differentiate derivative of this is 0. Dou z cube by dou 3z square. Now similarly for unique vector normally, 1 minus 1, you will get this as answer. So we got n1, we got n2. Now we will find the two surfaces which are orthogonal. So given the two surfaces are orthogonal, right? What do you mean by orthogonal? Dot product between the two surfaces should be 0. Correct, no? Dot product between the two surfaces should be 0. This condition is known to you because they have given the surfaces are orthogonal. So n dot Vector n dot vector n2. Right? Vector n1, vector n2. Now, I'll uh, since the dot product is 0, I'll put it here 0. And dot, here dot, right? So, how to find the dot product? I told you how to find x coordinate into x coordinate. So, a minus 2 into minus 8 plus minus 2b into 4 plus b into 12. So, simplify this. Expand this. You will get minus 2a plus 4 plus b. That is, if I bring a and b this side minus b plus 2a equal to 4. Also the point 1 minus 1 comma 2 lies on the surface. Correct now? Also this point, this point lies on this surface. Do you agree? See when you put here, whether this point lies on the surface, see 4, 1, uh, minus 1. Do you get minus 4 and when you do it here, 2 cube minus 4 plus 8. Is it 4, 4 equal to 4? Correct now? So this point lies on the surface. Similarly, this point lies on which surface also? First surface also. That means this point should satisfy this equation. Do you agree? This point lies on the surface means so this point satisfies the equation. So put in the place of x1, y minus 1, z as 2. You will get another equation. Correct? When you put x equal to 1, y equal to minus 1, z equal to 2. Since it lies on the surface, so we will get b equal to 1. Now substitute b here. So that time you will get a value. So what are the values of a and b? a is 5 by 2, b is 1. So it is a very very important problem. Please go through it very easy. The okay, next question is okay, uh, this is what done. So these are the two problems. So please study properly. We will see the next problems, uh, next set of problems in the next recording. Thank you.